What you will see is an accumulation of facts and disturbing patterns of behavior. Colin Powell predicted this address to the UN would be a prominent paragraph in his obituary. Iraq's behavior demonstrate that Saddam Hussein and his regime have made no effort, no effort, to disarm as required by the international community. He will be remembered as the man who put forward the case to invade Iraq, citing faulty intelligence of weapons of mass destruction. A blot on his career, he said, which haunted him. But it is just part of his legacy shaping American foreign policy for decades and blazing a trail for black people in the military and politics. I lost uh, a tremendous personal friend and mentor. Uh, he has been my mentor for a number of years. Uh, he always made time for me and I could always go to him with, with tough issues. He always had great, uh, great counsel. Uh, we, we will certainly miss him. I feel as if I have a hole in my heart. Powell was the son of Jamaican immigrants. When he began his military career, he was forbidden from entering certain restaurants in Georgia, a state clinging on to segregation. He rose to become the first black man to chair the Joint Chiefs of Staff under George Bush Sr. And under his son, George Bush Jr., he was appointed the first black Secretary of State. In a statement, Bush wrote, he was such a favourite of presidents that he earned the Presidential Medal of Freedom twice. He was highly respected at home and abroad. And most important, Colin was a family man and a friend. Over four decades in public life, Powell stood shoulder to shoulder with British leaders, from Margaret Thatcher to Tony Blair. He considered running for the presidency himself in 1996, but wife Alma worried for his safety. Powell was a Republican, but in recent years distanced himself from the party, supporting Barack Obama's presidential campaign and later denouncing former President Trump. Across Washington, flags were lowered today. Across the political aisle, they mourned the most devoted of public servants. Martha Kellner, Sky News, Washington.